head to all these events. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, shout out to my boy Spotter for running the stream tonight. He, he, he's the reason y'all have something to look at here. And he's uh, the all reason right. we actually get to commentate. Let's go, Kelvin. Yeah, Kelvin. All right, now we go. are into grand finals. Shouts out to the announcer. My boy. And uh, we're going right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. It's going to be between Vivi and Sean. And we're, we're seeing the uh, Lucario come out. No surprise there. No hero tonight in this set. And frankly, you know, these, these combos, they, they last a long time from Sean. They do a lot of damage. And that honestly works very much into Vivi's game plan. You want to take yeah. the damage. You want to get up to those percentages. And sometimes Sean has a hard time closing out stocks sub 120, 130, which gets really scary when you're playing against Lucario. No doubt about it. Uh, and you see like the ups, like up smash, it looks like a lot. It looks like, it looks very, very spammy, but uh, it's it's a very, very deceptive move. Um, now, okay, oh, this is this is definitely going to be a test of Sean's defense. Um, you have to you have to really really know specifically how to get out of those aura sphere charge setups um you have to be on the you have to be on the constant lookout oh for my force God. palm because that can happen yeah force palm generally you think oh the car is going to run up and force palm me but that time he confirmed to do it with a downer but yeah quickly stop those actually bleeding. nuts yeah put it, putting a tourniquet on that woo is that gentleman jab there from Sean, but there's a Nair to confirm into a throw combo as well. 35% at 0%, by the way, chat. Oh, that, oh my God, the falling up air there to reset. Such a good idea there. Yeah, but then again, I love that down air as well from Vivi to just answer right back. These two are at each other's throats, and I feel like the whole set's gonna go this way, Clam. Yeah. Oh, good D either from, uh, for, from Vivi. And a well-timed air uh, dodge too. Yep. Now, one okay. thing I've actually noticed about situations like that, okay, well, never mind. <laughs> I was just going to say that I feel like when Sean goes for those, they should wait a second and then go for the need to catch the air dodges because I, that's like the, the third individual player who's air dodged just in time to survive the need. I mean, it's sometimes it's just like, it's just a frames thing. Like, you just don't have the frames for it. But yes, I agree. Right. Um, and it, like, it's certain, like, uh, Sean plays with so much, like, Sean operates so well in advantage. Like, there's so, like, like so many players are like very very float charty, even as characters like Captain Falcon. But um, Sean, like, like Sean's basic state of being when he is in a combo is like, okay, read the DI, read the trajectory. He's always doing that. He's always adjusting, and that's why he's able to get these really really unpredictable combo extensions that you wouldn't really expect from any other Falcon. Yeah. Now on the surface level, Smash really isn't a very simple game. But whenever you keep keep in mind every single thing every single top level player is thinking about like you know di trajectories and you know oh, what options you're gonna do on landing you know stuff like this becomes that much more impressive and yeah that's a that's a missed opportunity there from vivi going right under the ledge because of how unwieldy that up he is at 120 percent angle was not quite just right that's gonna be sean winning the first game of the set and now we're going into game number two winner of this is uh Look, if Vivi wins, we're going to a game three with a chance of Vivi to close out the set. Sean wins this. We are going to a reset deadass finals here. Yep. And winner winner of the next set goes and wins the tournament. Um, Just to point out, since being sent to losers, Sean has not dropped a game. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Sean has not dropped a game. I don't even think any of his games have gone longer than three minutes either. Um... The, like local TOs, get Sean to your tournaments because you will get home on time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Fly this man out if you guys don't yeah. want to stay stay past eleven. Because this who got you, he got your back. Yeah. But hey, right now I think Vivi's trying to take a little bit of a slower tempo here. I think recognizing this, Sean is going to jump right on top of him. And honestly, I've been liking the the. the Go for catch style gameplay that we're seeing from Vivi a lot. You know, trying to bait in with these with these uh, lingering nares and like catch Sean on top of you with these down nares too into conversions. I've been liking that quite a lot, but you know, eventually the trade war is going to be lost by Lucario. You know, obviously when he gets 100, percent it's not a trade war anymore. It's just a straight up war. But yeah, um, yeah. I, a, a nuclear war, if you will. But, yeah, yeah it, it becomes Armageddon. Yeah, exactly. But. Again, you know, you are dealing with Sean, so you need, I, this this passiveness, this respect that you're putting on him, makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. 
Um, and and the, the, he's really switching to, like a lot more to like a poke oriented offense. Like a lot of F tilts, a lot of like, like a, not a lot of running, just a lot of single dashes because you can act out of it uh, a little bit easier. And a lot of down tilt extensions too. Oh, what a trade! Except it wasn't. Oh well, my god! It's just right back. It doesn't even matter. The DBZ results in a stock loss from Sean. Right off the Halo platform, they get a two frame with a down tilt at the ledge to even things right back up. Sean off the Angel platform is nuts. He's, yeah. He, 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 he momentarily becomes Super Saiyan. Yeah, it's a great equalizer. That's oh. why he's going to hit the fair knee string. Man, Sean making a very compelling case for their position in Deadass Finals. Oh, just a little bit overshoots that Nair. Uh, and, and, and Vivi really not, like playing super duper careful here um, because like Falcon like is a character that fights, like you could definitely make the argument that Falcon fights Lucario well because Falcon has really, really scrambly options that kill when Lucario is at his most dangerous. Like, yeah, definitely. Down tilt will put away a Lucario. Falcon kick will put away a Lucario. Um, it, like up smash will put again, uh, uh, will put away Lucario. Um, and all of these things oh are God. things you really have to watch out for. Oh, the coverage though. Yeah, exactly. This man, <laughs> he's got AT&T coverage right now. Finally gonna let a virus slip through the cracks a little bit though, as he lets Vivi get back to center stage. But again, not taking any damage for it. Finally though, some little bit of damage gonna come out in the favor of Vivi. The knee on shield is not gonna go punish. And Vivi off stage yet again. It's just, waits for it? Okay, jump in. Oh, uh -oh. man, that was, okay. Well, not over just yet, chat. We do have a souped up Lucario right now. That might have, I don't I don't know if Tokyo Drift would have hit, would have hit there, but uh, oh. like, uh -oh. that is right on the edge of the range where like Falcon Dive will hit, will yeah. grab. 51% now on Sean, who just spawned. 130% on Vivi, which is actually a good thing for them right now. Yeah, Jumping over the F tilt. Again, this is like this is not necessarily in Sean's favor right now. No, absolutely not. Oh, I love, oh, I love oh, the reversal. No scramble oh, gonna go in their favor though. Oh, oh but they get the ruin and the down smash. That's is it gonna kill it? Is Vivi back on top, baby? It's a one-one set. And that is all it takes. Man, Vivi, Vivi had Sean right where he Ch wanted Chase? him. Got the, the reset, got the inner dodge. Oh my god. Poetry. My god, what a tempo change there. He he put that into double time right at the very end there. Like, oh, you missed attack. Hang on, let me get you. Let me get you. Covered the roll back in with the aura sphere. Caught the uh, air dodge in or attempted to with a jab. Came down with a falling there to catch the aggressive approaching option. Force another tech. Tech roll in, read, down smash. It is curtains here. We're going to game number three here. And if Vivi wins this one, it's over. They win first place, they go home. home. Yeah. I get to watch the rest of the Sixers game. Meanwhile, um, I, I like, okay, I, I just want to talk a little bit more about the end of that, the, the, the end of that last game. The fact that Vivi was still able to come out on top despite like losing, like not finding the kill in that scramble situation on the platform is so good for his mental right now. Um, cause like, if you lose that situation, you still, like, you still have a set to play with. You're still like, it's still a reset, but okay. That's okay. So that's all 30 seconds of the past, which might as well be three years ago with how fast these sets have been moving. Yeah. Honestly, I am aging incredibly fast right now. Watching these yeah. two play. I, I, I feel like they're, they're a world away and my God, dude, that, that down throw read trying to catch an air dodge and they absolutely did with the down smash or sorry, the forward and smash too, to take the stock. And you're seeing exactly why Sean chose this chose this stage. Uh, he's controlling center stage because he wants you to go above him. He wants you to be on that platform. That platform is not safe area. That platform is a death trap. Uh, like up air's coming, Falcon dive's coming, even up smash is coming. Uh, even like neutral, like there's so many ways that Falcon can mess your day up uh, if you try and like like use that platform in any way. Yeah. So there's the forward throw. I mean, again. We, we've seen Vivi come back from situations like this. We, we did in the last true, match as well. True. And we know that people kind of want to go home on a, on a Monday night. Yeah, I love these Aura Sphere cancels. they just baiting out the options. Finally going to fly, but it is not going to connect into anything. But there's some up airs there from Sean. A bit of extra damage on the board. Catches the down B with an up B. A command grab will not be countered. 
And now, as for as much as we've talked all night about how you need to take these stocks against against Lucario, for Lucario, you got to take this stock. Yeah. Uh, like, as like you cannot count on the the scramble that won you game number two. You can't count on that sort of thing happening. You can't play two whole stocks at full charge aura against this Falcon. It's not yeah. gonna happen. Oh my God, went for a knee there to try to finish it all off. But you gotta keep in mind as well that uh, at a stock deficit, Lucario does have some aura benefits as well. True, him. true. Oh, starts, you know, starts, starts with a head, uh, he gets a head start. Exactly, not undoable right now. And just yeah, dashing back, trying to get this aura sphere on deck. It is here, trying to catch a landing though. And yet one whiff and Sean back in your face, dealing a ton of damage, goes for the oh. double leg extension in there. It is gonna kill Lucario, a lightweight character. And with that short horizontal blast zone, Fucking them to the edge of the stage. Sean takes the first set of grands. We are now in dead ass territory, ladies and gentlemen. The sudden death, winner of the next two games, is going to be your champion here tonight. Potentially three. Every, everything that Sean does, like like every combo that Sean does, looks like a bread and butter. Like it, like it looks that it looks like something that's consistent against every DI. It looks like it's something that works on eighty percent of the weights in the game. It's, uh, but no, like it's not. Like it's it's it is not that airtight. It's really just Sean being one of the best DI readers in the game, and, and like one of the best mid combo adjusters in the game. Right, I mean. The, the fluency to just say, you know, I don't need to go for this straight combo, but what if I read an air dodge here? That would be funny, and you know, it just worked. It just and, worked. Like, that that last combo at the end of game uh, at the end of game three there, where like, okay, up air, up air, up air, up air. You know, everyone and their mother knows that like they like Falcon tries knee in that situation. Yeah. Uh, Falcon tries Falcon dive in that situation if it's you know if it's sixty four. But no, uh, Sean recognizes spacing. He recognizes the di. He says like, okay. Knee will not hit, but Nair will, and it'll kill. Yeah. Nair is actually a really underrated part of Falcon's kick. Obviously, you can do Nair 1 uh, for extensions and stuff like that. I mean, look at that. I tried to catch it. Air dodge with a knee as well. Uh, but, I mean, it's a really good thing if you can combo into it. Because oh if you can force them to that blast zone, which Falcon absolutely can do with these up air strings, with those bridges, you can get the Nair and, and take the stock away, like, if they're that close. I... Sean did not find a whole uh, like very many hits in that in in that passage of play there, but just the movement and sticking to Vivi like glue, uh, the, it, it's so uncomfortable to deal with a Falcon that's moving on you like that. Um, oh, but Vivi had the right idea, just barely, uh, just barely misspaced it. Yeah. Well, right now, I mean, very aggressive stock one, a minute in, so we're on the slow side of things, Clam. Most of the time, we see one or two stocks taken at this point whenever Sean's on screen. Right, right, and Sean, like Sean, has not been shy, or Sean has not shied away from this sort of like slower, uh, like time of possession sort of game. Yeah, um, you, you you've mentioned earlier, uh, actually, Clam, that Falcon really doesn't fit the textbook idea of a rushdown character because his right. hitboxes really aren't all that fast. He can't really, I mean, he can smother you, sure, and he can get on top of you in an instant, but the thing is, like. His hitboxes, they deal too much damage and are a little bit too slow to be considered uh, a rushdown moves. And I agree with you there. Honestly, he does a, a way better job of just being a hard whiff punish character in the fact that he can get on top of you if you whiff one thing. He's got really good disjointed aerials like his, his nair and his up air. And he can just kind of oppress you after he gets one hit. You know what it is? Falcon's a rushdown character until he presses a button. Yeah, actually, that's fair. <laughs> the, like when he's just like when he's just like running around and short hopping. Don't talk about the dashback. Don't talk about the dashback. But when he's just like running around, like yeah, that's textbook rushdown. But he just uh, like he doesn't have that like auto cancel. Oh my god. Oh, oh are, yeah, dude, that was that was every domino laid out perfectly. Sean got the up air string. Said, okay, you want to get hit by this knee? Don't air dodge. Okay, well, I don't want to get hit by the knee. I'm going to air dodge. And then said, all right, frame trap, that baby. That was Sonair. so nuts. Dude, Sean is playing like he is writing a sonnet right now. <laughs> Iambic pentameter all over this right now. Oh, man, yeah. Shakespearean. Sean yeah. Spearian. Sean Spears. Wrestling. Oh, Spear. Dude, hey, there you go, yeah. 
But um, right now, again, this is VV out of deficit, which is uh, a benefit to them. My God, catching him with a shield too. And, and and that Falcon dive. Oh, okay. Love rap. Love a good Raptor boost. Everyone loves a good Raptor boost. Yep. Healthy BB. dose of vitamin RB. Yep. Oh, yep. There's the uh, down air one into the command grab. We've been seeing Vivi get a lot of mileage out of that. It's not something I see a lot of Lucario's do, but it might put that character into a little bit better position on the tier list if it gets optimized. I mean, uh, listen. Uh, if Vivi hits enough, oh, oh man. Okay. Really good deal though. He's still alive. Yeah. If he. Oh, he's dead. That. Okay. Wow. That is. It's it's a really good hitbox. I can't believe it's that. It's a really so really good hitbox. Dude, the, the, I, I said the, the before, detection on that. Whatever you need that hitbox to do, it does it. Like, it does it. <laughs> uh, Falcon Dive hitbox did my taxes, and I have two 1099s. For all you kids in the chat, that ain't nothing. Yeah. Man. All right. Well, we are down to the wire. It is match point here for Sean. One more win under their belt, and, and it is over. But I don't want it to be over just yet. No. And neither does well, Vivi. I, I mean, wants I, this. Like, I both don't want it to be over, but also I feel like I need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't blame you. The way this has been going, yeah, I get it. A couple years shaved off my life. But now, Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh my god, what a, what a stage pick. We have never seen anyone go to Pokemon Stadium 2 this night. Or the set, even. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but hey, man, we got we got a lot of fireworks here to watch. Game number two here. BV back against the wall, but this is where they play their best. And yeah, swinging exactly. out of the corner, playing scrappy just like you want them to. I mean, what is the what is the saying about a, like a cornered wolf? Uh, <laughs> you, you, like, you don't ex exactly. I don't actually know. I don't actually remember the specifics of the saying. I'm hoping that everybody in chat can kind of fill in the blanks in their head because I can't. Yeah. I'm too busy watching what this action going on right now. It makes it makes sense regardless. You know, back against <laughs> the wall. You. Pressure makes diamonds. Let's put it that way. Cl Clam hat oh carried by God. Laird yet again. How did that hit? How did that hit? That down smash was like a mile or sorry, that up smash was oh, like a mile I, away. Let me introduce you to uh, oh. Falcon Dive's hitbox's cousin, uh, up smash one. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, I need to go on ultimate frame data and see just how long the hitbox was because that did not look like it should have hit. Um, yeah, it's it. Do it after the stream because there's a decent chance that you will say something that like is inappropriate. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. And Lurk doesn't even cuss. <laughs> that's that's true. Meanwhile, I don't, I don't do it often. <laughs> only when it's warranted, and believe me, only it's on warranted. special occasions. Whenever I see yeah, yeah, yeah. a fucking down or up smash. Hitbox one. Ah, that Falcon. Or that Falcon. That Falcon tilt. Everything's Falcon right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Falcon. Depending tilt. on how you feel against the the depending depending on how you feel about these players and these characters, RJ either picked the worst commentator for this uh, for this top eight or the best. <laughs> <laughs> Which one did he pick? Let us know in the chat. <laughs> oh man, and, and that's you. Well. And that's that's that'll be enough. Oof. I love Sean, dude. He caught that. He got that upbeat with a down air as well. He's so good at grilling people for that. And like, and, and even as we're like so, like we're so focused on the the glitz and the glamour of all these custom combos that Sean's pulling up, he still has the basic things down, like down like down air two framing. He has that on absolute lockdown. Yeah. Again, short fundamentals are completely. You need them to, in order to win. But sometimes, whenever you show that you have those fundamentals. That's when you can go a little bit maverick and go for these yes. devastating kill options out of nowhere. Because they're expecting what's what's optimal and what works, right? Right. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo, looking for stuff. And you me. just like, as, and and I I cannot say this enough. Don't try this at home, kids, because this playstyle is not supposed to work. You yes. will not win fusion. Like you will not win fusion playing Falcon like this. Yeah. Unless you have, unless you can think as fast as Sean does, and and unless you can execute like Sean does. Yeah, transitional thinking, mark of a high-level player, and Vivi's showing that as well, though, with a down air of their own. Nice spot dodge to avoid the uppy, which probably would have killed if it connected. There's a back We're air from center. We're on tournament center. stock. We, we are on tournament, tournament stock, stock. yeah. Oh, not going to go for the... Actually, the gentleman's would have killed their clam, but... Oh, oh man, true. unfortunate whiff from Sean. Throw not going to kill. Stage control. 
159%. Yep, not gonna go off too deep. B, not gonna kill. 181, near max rage there. He wants to do something so stupid right now. Yeah, oh no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you know what? He's a gentleman about it. But um, psh. <laughs> And there I you go. Get I get it. Sean, the, uh, the rambling man. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> this is Again. the video game you chose to play. Boom. How? Why is that so far out, dude? That's like a whole nother character length away. I'm gonna cuss. We, we need to close the stream now so, I, so that, that doesn't happen. <laughs> He's gonna say All a bad right. word. Yeah, but hey, it's always a good time here at Fusion. Definitely would like to thank production for running everything. Our boy Kelvin, uh, who's making this possible for us to commentate from home. You are yep. the GOAT. Shout out to RJ for having us on and running these events every week. You're the GOAT as well, my friend. And thank you to Clam Hat for uh, tuning in and having a good time on mic with me, man. Yeah. Thanks Thanks also to Ubel. Um, Ubel, yeah. At, for uh, uh, UBL Soul um, holding it down with me earlier tonight. Um, so, Laird, what are you up to? What should the, what? What, what should the people be following Visa V, the world of Laird? Uh, well, follow at Lair Casting. That's my Twitter. And I, I've got some big stuff in the works. Uh, something with, that will be coming out within the next two weeks. So get excited for that. If all my plans go through, which oh, I hope follow, they do. But Follow yeah, Lair Casting so you can be in the, in, the, in the loop on that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears that are going into it. And y'all don't want to miss out on it. But Clam Hat, the people, I know you stream. I know you're yes. you know, a really personal guy. I love hanging out with you. Where can the people put into what you got going on? Just search Clam Hat on Google. Skip the first result because it's an Urban Dictionary thing. You know, <laughs> I, I, I am your local Smash commentary cryptid, and I'm going to go watch the Sixers. It's been an absolute blast, man. Yeah. Um, let's go, Sean. Let's go, Fusion. And we will see you next time here at Fusion in New Jersey. For Collision Smash, I am Clam Hat, joined by Laird. Good night. Yeah.